Recently, some people wrote to me and asked me what I think of Krishna. All that I know of him is from the Indian epic Mahabharata. However, the story was compiled many centuries later, to say the least. The claim is that Vedvyas dictated the whole story to Ganesh, who is another aquatic deity. While this story sells well in North India, Tamils who have a trove of many older literature know when Ganesh started showing up in human history. In a very liberal estimation, Ganesh did not appear to humans before five centuries before Christ. In Mahabharata, Vedvyas even interacts with these characters of his epic even though he lived much later than them. If you point out all these, Hindus will tell you that Vyas was one of the Chiranjeevis, meaning the one that lives forever. Or they would say that Vyas was born of the result of reciting a mantra given by Rishi Parashar to Satyavati long before the Mahabharata war. Well, there is no end to these fables. So, in light of all this, I think Krishna lived a couple of centuries after the flood around the year 2100 BC. One of his many names is Kishan, which indicates that he was a descendant of Biblical Kush, who established the city of Kish in Sumer. Now, there was another prominent city of Inanna, who is Kali in the trade route of Sumer, known as Uruk, which the Bible calls Iraq. Iraq got its name from here. Now, the city of Iraq was also known as Warka, and the name of Krishna's sunken city in India was Dwarka, and that city was the shores of Gulf of Kutch, which is named after Kush. A little further down from the Gulf of Kutch is the Gulf of Kambay or Kambath, which is named after Kush's father Ham, known as Kam or Kamadeva in India. Thus, we see the biblical connections all over India. Even though Krishna was of African descent, he refused to pay tribute to Zeus, who is known as Indra, and he was based in Egypt. He supported Pandavas because they were the native sons of India and they also hated their African invaders. Please watch my video titled Untold History of Ancient India to know about the original people of India. Now, I can't talk about Krishna without mentioning his friend Draupadi, the heroine of the epic Mahabharata. She was supposed to have emerged out of the holy fire. And the aliens are supposed to have come from the Zeta Reticulum of the Orion constellation. I don't buy either of them. They are all the same fallen entities from the watery abyss of Lucifer the devil. There are no other sources, friends. Her manipulation of humans brought about a lot of bloodshed and that's exactly what these fallen entities want in order for them to survive. Apart from that, Kurukshetra war never achieved its touted outcome of establishing righteousness upon this earth. You can see it for yourself. So the moral of the story is to keep away from the fallen entities and worship the only creator who I know is Yahweh, the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son Jesus that whosoever believes on his name should not perish but have everlasting life. Thanks for watching.